from 1995 as a conventional armor uh, converted into the modernized, more eco-friendly armor as you described it. Um, the specific organic conversion takes two to three years. Uh, you go through a transition uh, where you where you apply the organic principles, but you cannot sell your products as organic. And in year three, you're allowed to sell your products as organic. But uh, the question is more complex to say, to get into an, the, the farm into a new balance and have a different regime prevail, probably takes about 10 years. It takes 10 years for the soil to readjust itself, for the uh, hydrology and um, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, beneficial insects and the wildlife to establish itself at a new level, about 10 years. So in your farm, you, you use no pesticide? No. No pesticide. And the, uh, how many years it take the general audience to accept this kind of concept and become your customer? <coughs> You know, the, the, the principles of organic agriculture in our part of the world were established in the 20s. So there was a small community from 1920 and onwards that would take an interest in this. But from a Danish perspective, there was no market for this until the late 80s. In the late 80s, there was an increasing consumer awareness about food safety and food quality, and that has established a situation in Denmark where now 8% of the food economy is organic. 8%. 8% of the food, of the public's food spend is organic. The ambition from the government and from the sector itself is to take that to 20% over the next 10 years. So it would be fair to say that you have Ambition that the direction of people prefer more organic food, and you take on the business opportunity and you make the right choice. Yes, I had no idea when I set out that this would be this would be where I would be today. I was more my 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 inspiration was to have a more interesting future for my farm. Uh, and for myself. I was not, I didn't see this coming. We set it up as a small local scheme and my ambition originally was to have maybe 500 customers and that would be fine. So it took us very much by surprise that there was so much interest in this uh, in this farming model. I'm very much intrigued of one of the uh presentation slide where you presented that the more conventional uh, agriculture was using a lot of fossil fuel, but I do not quite understand the, the figure. Um, what, is, what is the level, what is the unit you, you are calculating that the OECD... We can maybe have a look at it, we can go back and have another look at it. That slide is very intrigued. That the, uh, it surprised me too. We have to go backwards. Hope so. Hope we go backwards. You say that the length is what? What is the length? Your question is the length is what?
。对对对，就这个，就是说，知道它横轴是什么。So these isobars is that OECD has now now gone past 400,000 kilocalories per worker per day. So it is calories of plant food, plant production per worker per day. So this is it comes from a French uh, foresight study called Agrimont, uh, prepared by the the French. Uh, State Institute for Agriculture called INRA. They've they've done they performed this analysis on the basis of FAO figures. But is this an official official figure by uh, by HA, uh, WHO or OECD? The, the the data is FAO data, but it is a uh, it is a, a French scientist called Dorin uh, that has made the um, that, that has made the calculations. So what it shows is that that in uh, in Asia. Um, you're still employing close to one person per hectare uh, in the agricultural system. And it is much more, it is significantly more productive than the OECD if you look at output. But in this figure, there's no person uh, worker indication inside. Although you, you mentioned that it, it is our experience, especially in Taiwan, that we, the average farmer, cultivated uh, farmland was about one hectare or less but yes. how do they how do the French that they get this data how do they know <laughs> they, they, uh, so what, you're saying that the figures are correct but how could they know yeah yeah that's the you know the, that's the beauty of of, uh, of big numbers you know that, that it, it evens things out and actually ends up being very close to correct. Do you know of the Fermi paradox? It's one of my favorite stories. Um, if you make assumptions, and you have a long chain of assumptions, and you're good at making assumptions, you can get very close to the correct figure because you're guessing a bit to the right, a bit to the left, a bit to the right, a bit to the left, and you can get very close to the, the right figure. And the reason why it's called the Fermi paradox is that uh, in the Manhattan Project during the war, um, when the bomb was uh, conceived, uh, an Italian scientist called Enrico Fermi was there when they made the first uh, blast. And um, the big discussion among the nuclear scientists was how efficient would the bomb be, how many kilotons would it actually uh, um, bring into uh, effect, the, ur the, the uranium bomb. And uh, Fermi took his handkerchief out of his jacket, and when the shock wave came from the... Um, from the bomb, he dropped the handkerchief, and then he measured how far uh, the handkerchief moved uh, as a result of the blast. And then he said, mm, 38 kilotons. <laughs> and then the others went back into the bunker and they calculated for day two, two days, and it was 39 point or 37.8 or something like that. So that is the, the paradox, that if you make good assumptions, you can actually get very close to the proper figures. There needs to be a, a complicated trail of uh, calculations. I'm not sure it quite uh, qualifies here, but it's a good story. Isn't it? Well, my ne next question is directly related to this. Is, uh, you present your figure of your farm. On average, I estimated uh, every worker actually take care of two hectares. So if you put the energy consumption of your farm on this chart, where will it be located? Um, I think we will be somewhere here. Somewhere here? Yeah. Impressive. You will be there. Most impressive. Thank you. Okay, hi, uh, Chitada, Penyo, you.